Okay, so one of the hardest parts of starting a project is finding inspiration for your creative ideas. So today, I'm gonna share my top five places on the internet that I go to for inspiration, and hopefully this will be helpful to you in your project. So let's jump into it. Starting at number five, Pinterest. Now, if you haven't used Pinterest as a source of inspiration, you've gotta start a Pinterest account and start looking. Pinterest search features are so good. You can get really specific and there's just, it's just really easy to use. And you can even find art outside the realm of motion graphics, which can also be a great source of inspiration. Moving on to number four on our list is aescripts.com. Now, if you're familiar with aescripts.com, you might be wondering, it's a, it's, a, it's a marketplace, how can there be inspiration? Well, in the Learn tab at the top, in that drop-down menu, there is a Inspiration tab. This links to a, a page that has articles and features different artists, and it features different plugins. I kind of have a routine before I start working where I check different websites, news sites, and, and such. And this site, uh, aescripts.com, on their Inspiration page, is definitely among those that I check every day. So check that one out. Okay, so the next one is designspiration.com. So designspiration is kind of like Pinterest, except for it's specifically for design. And so what I really love about De designspiration is that you're, you can go and you can get uh, new ideas that you may not have thought could apply to motion graphics. And it's a great way to kind of uh, break from the pack, uh, as it were, from the motion graphics trends and kind of and tr try something new that nobody else is trying. Design inspiration gives me ideas that I just don't get from watching people's reels and their little shorts because you're pulling from a much broader collection of people, I guess you could say. Moving on to number two. Okay, so obviously Instagram is a great place to find and follow people who are the industry leaders. I can recommend some accounts to follow here. And then here are some hashtags that you can follow. It's, it's not just a great place to uh, get inspiration, but it's also a great place to learn. There's a lot of really cool short tutorials on Instagram. So check out these hashtags, follow these people. These are people that I follow and that I get a lot of inspiration from. And every time that they post, I'm just so motivated to keep going and to try new things. So Instagram is a great resource for learning and finding inspiration. Okay, and the final one is one that I think if you're in the motion graphics industry or you wanna be in the motion graphics industry, you have got to check this website regularly. Um, Cause this is the best of the best that are being featured on this website. And it's motionography.com. Now, motionography.com is a place where they feature some of the industry's best work. And they, they feature a lot of work from, from agencies and they've uh, featured work from Apple and Nike and all these big brands. So, I mean, this is where the industry's best people are, their work is being featured. You, you have to learn from the, the industry's best. So motionography.com, it's on the top of my list as a place to go for inspiration. And, and motivation, quite honestly. So you'll notice that I didn't include two things on here that would might seem obvious. I didn't include YouTube.com and I didn't include Vimeo. I didn't include YouTube.com because obviously that's the first place you probably and I probably go to to find tutorials. And YouTube is kind of hard to find like good inspiration in my opinion. So, and, and I didn't include Vimeo for this very same reason. It can be hard to kind of find the, the gems. Okay, so that's the top five places I use on the internet to find inspiration for not only the artwork of my motion graphics, but also the motion. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, hit the like button. If you have a place that you think could compete with uh, my top five list and I didn't mention it, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, and then uh, hit that bell, the whole spiel, the thing that everybody does, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.